and this popped up out of nowhere right before I hit record. Um, the Android 14 QPR2 Beta 1 is now available for all devices if you're running uh, beta so- uh, if you're in the beta program. They were going to release Android 14 QPR1 Beta 3, I believe, and they skipped that that update and went to this one so we were expecting a continuation of the last uh beta version but they apparently skipped that and are on to this one which is good news um which means there's probably not that many bugs that the developers have to worry about right the longer you're on the beta the longer they have the beta out means basically uh one of two things um that uh there's a ton of bugs and they're trying to figure it out or they're just trying to stay on a update schedule or a release date for their uh, final version of the software. Uh, I do have, uh, let me check it again. I do have the Pixel 8 Pro here. Uh, We all have Pixels in this house. We're all on the beta program. And a few minutes ago, we all checked to see if um, this was available for our device and none of them said it was available. But I am gonna check here right now live. And let's see if it is available. Simply, if you're already in the beta program, um, just go to settings and then go to system and then scroll down to system update and it should push an OTA update to your device for the beta. Yeah, it's not, mine's not receiving it yet. But if you want to get in the beta program, now's the time. This build um, that I have on my phone, the current beta version, and it'll, it'll even get better probably later tonight or tomorrow once these start hitting devices. I, there's not one bug I can find on here. And my battery life is insane. 10 hours of screen on time on the beta. So uh, we do have a video, I think last week we did a video how to enroll in the Android beta program. Um, I won't get into it now because I explained everything back then, but it's very easy. You can just follow along with the video and uh, we'll get you in the beta program. No problemo. But let me look and see what they squashed bug-wise and or fixed in this real quick. Uh, Let's see. So Google already ruling out Android 14, QPR 2, Beta 1 for Pixel. So they were, we were planning on getting the QPR1 beta 3 because we're currently on QPR1 beta 2. Um, we were expecting this beta 3 here this month and apparently they said, screw it, let's just move on to the next. So they're moving on to Android 14 QPR2 beta 1. See, this was QPR quarterly release was 1. This one's number 2. So they're moving right along. Um, So it's available for Pixel phones, Pixel tablet, and the Pixel Fold. QPR1, which was last, uh, which is the last one, is expected to launch. Oh, okay. The the stable build of QPR1 is expected to launch next month, but Google's already starting the quarterly cycle. QPR2 should hit stable in March. The build numbers today are curious interesting they're probably curious and changed them because they switched up the they moved on they skipped a beta uh, a build so you got the build numbers i believe it goes down to the five i think the 4a got its last software update and is just on security patches so i think if you have a pixel 5 and up you should be able to uh enroll in the beta program says, oh, this is why, check it out. This is why I haven't gotten it on my Pixel 8 Pro yet. It says the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro builds are not yet available and they are coming soon. So probably by tomorrow or something, they'll release them. That's why when I when we check, they're not showing up, but no worries. Quarterly platform releases deliver more significant changes compared to monthly bug fixes. They can deliver bigger UI tweaks and new features that don't warrant waiting for the next major Android release, at the same time, QPRs are relatively stable and launch as betas rather than developer previews. Google officially says they are suitable for general use. Mine's very suitable. Now, um, I'm, in- I'm interested to see, will this bring the features that we've all been wanting, uh, which is why one of the reasons why we bought the phone that were not on there when they released them. You know, the stuff like, um, was it night video? I think that's the main one. 
where they oh we have a you know night sight they have here on these pixels for the still photos and they've now brought that to videos on this new pixel 8 series or pixel 8 pro well it's not available in the phone uh when it was released so i'm still waiting um waiting to do my final review of this pixel until i can get all these cool features in here because that's one thing that kind of does bug me they show you all these cool features and like oh yeah buy this phone so you buy it now i knew ahead of time but i'm just saying for the average person you buy it and then you get it and you're like well where's all this cool stuff y'all were talking about and then and then you you find out um oh, i gotta wait like two or three months for it to to come to my phone I'm like really so yeah whatever but it is what it is i wish they would just release it with the device let's see so this these are the updates with the new build this fixed an issue with some apps that use metadata element unconventionally interesting sometimes okay so it has a, a storage uh bug fixes it says it fixed sometimes when a user unlocks the device using their fingerprint there is no haptic feedback that is fixed for pixel fold devices sometimes after a user unlocks the device while it's folded the inner display doesn't turn on after unfolding the device so that should be fixed google apps the assistant at glance widget sometimes displays weather information from the wrong location now that's fixed google identifies the following fixes which are pres uh, presumably from qpr1 the fixed an issue that caused the package manager to crash when installing some apps fixed an issue that sometimes prevented users from submitting feedback using the android beta feedback app uh that i have no not on this one that was on my I think seven pro i have i experienced this one that was on the seven pro the previous version fixed an issue that sometimes prevented a device from connecting to a 5g network when it is available okay okay so let's see so they've got you can uh, again i'm going to link these this um in the description so if you want to check out all this um info you certainly can it looks like the build the beta build is out and available so if you have a pixel fold you have a pixel tablet you have a pixel 7 7 pro 7a a 6 6a 6 pro or a 5a you're good to go you can download the beta this beta check for it in your settings if you're currently in the beta program it should be there or if you want to enroll your device in the beta program uh, as soon as you enroll it'll tell you you have an update and when you download the update and install the update this will be the bill that you get so you always get the most current one that's available so again we do have um they said they have a guide here in the link now uh it's up to you but there's multiple ways of installing it we've also made a video on that easiest way is just sign up online on the uh, on their developer page so you just simply sign into your account select the, the device that you want to enroll and you hit submit and then you wait literally probably a few minutes and the notification will be on your phone or just wait a few minutes after you submit the enrollment and then go into your settings and check for an update it'll be there so that's the easiest way you know you can sideload them these updates you can download the zip and flash them do all that stuff but the average person and look i used to do all, all that stuff i used to modify custom kernels and roms and flash this and flash that those days are long gone i'm not i'm not trying to deal with any of that it's a hassle it's a waste of time just you know so that's why i kind of like to keep one foot in the developer world with me being enrolled in these beta programs but on the other hand i'm not trying to get too you know i got other stuff going on so uh, i used to be i used to get on xda developer website every day and i remember flashing roms seemingly every day um just insane uh how much time i spent on that but it is what it is but um yeah so if you need any more information it basically explains everything if you need any more information go to the link and or i might link those videos uh that tells you how to enroll and or install it in the description box as well so if you do want to do that uh we